So guys, this is my fourth tournament vlog of the season so far on my road to get one ATP point. If you've been following along, you'll know that I've lost the first three matches of the season so far. I know, not a great start, but today is when things change. This week, I played a progress tour event with £5,000 prize money at the Edgebaston Priory Club, which is also home to a women's 250 event on the grass, a prime location to try and get my first win. So let's see how it went. Day started bright and early at 7 a.m. where I went down for breakfast. I always start my breakfast with two glasses of water to help flush out all the impurities from the system and to get me really going for the day. Today for breakfast, I had fruit, a yogurt, and some of these pancakes, and I mixed it all together to give me enough energy for my matches coming up. And of course, I had to have a mandatory Americano coffee um, just to get me going because it was a pretty early start. We're in a bit of a rush, so I've got to drink the coffee on the go. This is the notebook where I'm going to write down my tactics, technical equipment. I also got my foam roller. Oh, all right, let's head out. It's cold today. It's already like towards the end of March. It's like under 10 degrees Celsius. Freezing. Oh, now I need to find my dad's car. Here it is. Oh. So it was about a 15 minute drive from the hotel to the tennis courts. We got there around 8.30 to make sure we had a good 30 to 40 minute hit in before the matches started at 9.30. I was playing a little bit later, but I wanted to make sure I still got that warm up hit in. I made sure to just hit a lot of ground strokes, hit some backhands cross. I think that was an area I specifically wanted to work on. We then moved on to hitting some volleys and also hitting some smashes. I wanted to especially work on coming into the net today, so I made sure to do a lot of stuff on that. And then we finished with some basic serve warm up just to get the shoulder warm and to feel nice and loose on the serve. So I just finished my practice session this morning. We played for about 45 minutes. Um, now I'm gonna go and get some food. I'm playing about in an hour and a half. So I wanna eat some, some carbs, kind of get the glycogen stores replenished before I play my match. I'm also about 30 to 40 minutes before the match gonna go and sit down and write some intentions down in my book, which is basically to get me to think about what set plays I wanna do in certain situations, how I want to play, and kind of my mindset throughout the match to keep myself kind of grounded so that I can kind of keep focused on trying to play my best tennis and win every single point basically, and try and get the win. Of course, I'm gonna give it my best shot. Uh, let's go get some food. For this meal, I had fruit compote and oats just to get as many carbs in as possible before my match. And we're gonna jump straight in into my first round match here in the progress tour. I think from the beginning of this match, my aim was to be assertive in my service games, to have a clear game plan, which for me was try and come into the net as much as possible like that, try and play drop shots to enable myself to win a lot of points without having to grind from the baseline. My opponent was really able to use his backhand very well and he was also looking to come into the net quite a lot towards the beginning of this match. And I knew that my aim obviously is to hold my serve, that's the number one priority, and then try and get the break. Coming into so the net a lot like you just saw, is totally fine if I make mistakes and I was accepting that and knowing that that would happen, especially in the games where I was returning. I did face a break point pretty early on here. I served down the tee, decided to come into the net and managed to put the ball away. Again, a few early opportunities for my opponent, but I think I did pretty well at neutralizing them and just making sure that I'm staying in this first set. And with a reflex volley, I get the break and go 4-2 up on serve in this first set. I'm now thinking, just serve it out, try and be consistent. 
and try and come in and be aggressive and close out this game to go 5-2 up. And that's exactly what I did. Once again, scrambling in that point and taking the first set 6-2 with a double break. That obviously allowing me to serve first in this second set as well, which is a big advantage. But again, in previous matches, I have struggled at the beginning of the second set, giving away a few too many easy points. I think this was another one of those opportunities where, again, Archie's forcing me to play a long service game and ending up with a break point opportunity. Passing shot winner there to give myself a break point opportunity, which I clearly did take. And now again, I'm in the position where I am after that drop shot, 5-2 up on serve. So I've done well to turn this set around. And now it's all about closing it out. Don't choke and try and just find four points in a row that I can string together to try and win this match. But of course, I didn't make it easy for myself. And let's see what happens. I actually thought that ball was in. He called it wide, but on, on further inspection, um, it did look wide, but it's one of those moments in the match where the pressure's so high, you know, you kind of see the ballers in. And again, forcing himself back into this match. Yes guys, so I got the first win of the season. I'm actually here where I gave you my debrief before my first match of the season. Now a few later, we finally got the first win and we can progress to the next round. I'm gonna be playing the seed number two, who's got a UTR of 12.5. So it's really gonna be a tough test, but I think I deserved it. But I thought I kind of held my nerve together well in that match. I performed well under the pressure, especially being the favorite in a match and not choking it like I have maybe previous matches. Uh, but yeah, I'm super happy and I can't wait to, to go and recover, rest. Um, eat some good food and prepare for my match tomorrow. Uh
So the opponent I played in the second round was probably the best rated UTR player I've played in this year so far and probably the biggest benchmark to see where my level's at as he's already playing Futures tournaments so he is at the level that I need to be at. To make sure that this video isn't too long, I'm going to be posting a second video of the week on Wednesday where I'm going to do a deep dive onto my match against him plus also how much the tournament costed and a few other cool things about the tournament that I played in the Progress Tour and also a little update on some of the plans I've got coming up in the future. So make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on to be notified when that video comes out and also when future videos come out because you don't want to miss them. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.